Welcome back to my tutorial series on letting computers play video games by themselves. In the last episode, we used Neat to uh, play some retro games using OpenAI's Retro and the Neat-Python library. Uh, in this new series, which should be pretty quick, I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, OpenAI's Baselines, or more specifically, the stable baselines library, which is a refactoring and like uh, polishing of the OpenAI baselines libraries, which are too complex. Firstly, though, I'm going to show you my F0 bot, which I trained using this library, uh, and see how good he goes. Here we go. So you can see he's kind of wiggly. But he's totally flying around the lab. He's not winning, though. But uh, for the record, I tried the same thing with um, Neat, and uh, he never successfully completed a lap. That's not to say he wouldn't, it just took a really long time. This trained in um, 10 mil... no, uh, yeah, 10 million steps, I think is what it was. Um, the advantage of this library... look how good he is! He's just wiggly! The advantage of this library is that it's um, it's got multi-processing built in, and uh, it's really good. So, I guess I'll show... Oh yeah, the other thing I want to show you is that uh, while this is clearly playing the first level of F-Zero, no problem, does the knowledge transfer? And the answer is yes, actually it does. So here, let me, let me show, show that up for you. Uh, where is the thing? Do, 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 do. How about Big Blue? That's the second level in. Boom! Takes a second to load, so please be patient. So I don't know who Hill-A is, but uh, they've done us all an incredible favor as uh, this library is really... The defaults, everything is just great. You're, it's, it's really easy to set up. Yeah, here we go on Big Blue, no problem. Look at that. So he's ne he didn't get trained on Big Blue. I trained him on Mute City, and he's totally doing... Yeah, he gets screwed up here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is about it, but he... Oh! Now he's driving in reverse, but doing it... Re oh, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so in the next episode, I'll show you how to do this. See ya.